All right, so number one, you have eight times three minus two times four. So order of operations says you have to do eight times three to get 24. Then you do two times four and get eight. And then 24 minus eight is 16. And number two, you're going to divide six by three to start. So six divided by three is two. Then you have to do eight minus four, which is four. Four plus two is six. And number three, it's all multiplication and division. So you read it left to right like a book. 24 divided by 12 is two. Two times Four is eight. Eight divided by three is eight thirds. And four, we do parentheses or exponents first. So in this case, we're going to do eight squared. So you have three times 64 plus 12 divided by four. Then you do 3 times 64 to get 192. Plus 12 divided by 4. And you could have divided your 4 and 12 there if you wanted. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 192 plus 3 is 195. Okay, and then in number five, we have 27 plus 18 divided by nine minus three squared plus one. So we do three squared to start. So that's nine times the same space. 27 plus 18 divided by nine minus, so basically now you have to do your division. So you have 27 plus two minus nine plus one and now you're just adding and subtracting across 27 plus two is 29 29 minus nine is 20 plus one is 21. then in number six you add first so 40 plus 24 is 64 divided by eight which is eight Okay, hopefully that wasn't too bad. Nice, easy warm up. The next thing we're going to talk about, sorry, the next thing we're going to talk about is some vocab. So give me two seconds. There we go. So we have some important key vocab for you today. The first is a variable. A variable is a symbol, a number, or a letter. A symbol, a number, or a variable that represents one or more numbers. We have the example in 3x plus 1. x is the variable. We have the example 3x plus 1 where x is the variable. An algebraic expression or variable expression is an expression that contains one or more variables. So 3x plus 1 is still an algebraic expression. To evaluate means to substitute a number in for the variable and to apply our order of operations and simplify. To evaluate means to plug a number in, apply our order of operations, and simplify.
Are we good? All right, so next we want to evaluate. So we're going to evaluate the expression on the intervals given to us. So let's evaluate by plugging in those numbers. Remember when we plug in, it's like substituting. So in number one, we're plugging six in for every K. So that is six minus 18 squared minus four times six, and then you're going to apply your order of operations. So six minus 18 is a negative 12. A negative 12 squared is positive 144. And then minus four times six. So four times six is 24. So 144 minus 24 is 120. Okay, number two, evaluate 7x minus 3xy for x equals negative 2 and y equals 5. So we're going to plug negative 2 in for x. So you get 7 times negative 2 minus 3 times negative 2 times y being 5. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And then you have the choice. You can take a negative times a negative or keep it subtraction. So if you keep it subtraction, you're multiplying 3 times negative 2 times 5, which gives you negative 30. And then you'll see you have the minus the minus or the positive. And 30 minus 14 is 16. Okay, number three. Now we're plugging in x equal four and y equals negative two. So we have four plus a negative two divided by four. So order of operations, say you divide before you add. So you get four plus negative one half. which is really 3.5. Number four, three X minus four Y plus X minus Y. So again, you plug in your X, Plug in your Y. So what's your signs? It's minus a minus, which turns to a positive. And 
and then you start left to right with multiplying. So 3 times 4 is 12, minus 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So again, you get a minus, a minus, or a positive 8, plus 4, plus 2. 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 4 plus 2 is 26. Number five. Once again, we're going to plug in those numbers. So you have x as four. So we have four plus two times negative two divided by negative two minus two. Wait, sorry, that's. My font is super tiny on my end. So 4 plus 2 times 4 divided by oh, negative 2 minus 2 times negative 2. Apply your order of operations. So left to right means we're multiplying the 2 times 4 first. So you have 4 plus 8 divided by negative 2 minus, and then you can multiply at the end if you want, negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So you get 4 minus 4 plus 4 which is 4. Okay, number 6. Evaluate each expression for c equals negative 3 and d equals 5. Here's where you have to be really, really careful and we are applying this order of operations because when you square a negative, it's always positive. When you square a negative, it's always positive. You have to watch where the negatives and squares and signs all match up though. So in number six, the negative three goes in for C so that's like saying negative 3 squared minus 5 squared. Now if you're going to type in it on a graphing calculator, you have to wrap it in the parentheses exactly like that. Because if you exclude the parentheses on the negative 3, it will put the negative in front instead of giving you a positive 9. And if you put the negative inside for the 5, it would change it to a negative 5 instead of subtraction. So your goal is to get a final answer of negative 16. Okay, number seven. So we have C times the quantity three minus D minus C squared. So our C value is negative three. Three minus D, so three minus five, minus negative three squared. So again, here's where order of operations matter. The negative 3 squared and the 3 minus 5 in parentheses are first. The negative and negative in with near this 3 right here do not cancel each other. Because technically it's a negative, a negative, a negative because there's two negative 3s. 
So you got negative 3, negative 2, minus 9. So you got 6 minus 9 or negative 3. And then 8, we have negative d squared. So again, that negative isn't part of the square. It's outside it. Minus 4, 5, minus 2, times negative 3. So we do our exponent to start. So we get negative 25. Minus 4, do in the parentheses, so you got to multiply negative 2 and negative 3 to get 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. So negative 25, negative 44, or negative 65. All right, the expression negative 0.08 y squared plus 3y models the percent of voters in a town. The expression y represents the number of years since 1990. So here's where you have to be pretty careful. They give you this starting at 0 representing 1990. Find the increase of voters by 1998. So, what that means is y equals 0 is 1990. So, y equals 8 will give me 1998. So, you're not plugging 1998 into the equation. You're plugging 8 into the equation. So you would plug in your 8 and you have negative 0.08. 8 squared plus 3 times 8. So we do 8 squared first, multiply by negative 0.08, and then add 24. And you get an 18.88% in. And number 10, 1960 is our year zero this time. So that means y equals for 2012. So you want to figure out how many years from 1960 to 2012 had passed. So you would do 2012 minus 1960 to get 52. And then we also want to know about 2020. So you subtract 1960 from 2020 and you get y equals 60. And then to get our answers, we would plug 52 and 60 into that given expression.
and get 45.4. And then if you plug into 2020, you get 43. Okay, your homework is the next page in this packet. So you don't have the remaining class time to finish that. Whatever you do not finish is your homework. And then we'll learn the rest of 1-1 on Monday.